Man, that's a good farm. Hey, I can't wait to see this. Fish farming yeah. does. Yeah. Fish farming does not mean that you should keep it to the table says to the floor. You can just keep it that says, keep it to this side, to another person. Raise it to a bigger side, to another person. That is still fish farming. Yeah. So now, these ones here yeah. are ready for sale. Exactly. And these ones are the ones you are saying they are sell at 200 and so so how can we, we, but of course there are those also as well that are sold, less sold, and maybe higher than that. Wow, 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 wow. Thank you so much guys. Welcome to the channel and welcome to the next episode here in Your Care Services. My name is Julius Ojula, as user Your Care Boy. Here we are now entering, we are, we are still in Kikota Integrated Farm Limited here in Serere and we are taking you to the section where we always get the fingerlings for the catfish. That is where the manager is taking us and he has, is going to take us through uh, uh, things that are inside there. Yes manager, if you can introduce yourself and so tell us more. Once more. Isaac, what is my name? Uh, the unit that you are entering in is uh, a catfish hatchery. Okay. Uh, what happens inside there is uh, producing the fries. Okay. So what we do inside there is on harvesting the females plus the males as well. Okay. Uh, we do induce. After inducing, we strip them in the morning. We get uh, the, 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 the meat from the male, we set them in a tray with the water flowing, then the, the catfish hatches. Wow. Basically, that's what happens. I can't wait to really uh, see that. So, guys, come with us here and we enter to the hatchery section. Remember, this video is sponsored by Halcyon Schools here in Teso sub region. Come with me, guys, as we enter to the hatchery. Oh, my God. So, if you can try, I don't know. This is a little bit back. You like the other side? And it's supposed to be like that corner. Also. Okay. So, this is catfish. Okay. So, this is the product that we sell, the final product we sell. Okay. But uh, they are just here because they, are, they graded them here. Yes. Grading means you have to break them on the side. side. So which size is this? Let's say it's one and a half. This is just good bread there. These are oil in that. Because you know, when the farmer makes an order, it's supposed to bread them, right? They don't go when they are mixed sizes. Okay. No catfish has a, uh, a habit of cannibalism, meaning that if you don't bread the fish and just get and give to your farmer. The bigger ones will end up eating the smaller yes, ones. Yes. So that's why you see that you have to bread them with the same size. And this starts that when you're giving to your farmer, it's a uniform size. Wow. Yeah. So now these ones here, you, uh, this size here, you size them at how much? This one, uh, we sell it at 230 shillings. This one is 230? Yes. Okay. A piece. So you multiply them the number that you want. Wow. Yes. I, I don't know if you can go the other side, then you will be able to tell us. Like, if someone now comes from... How many guys? We are now in the actual section A. So this one is um, very small. Uh, so you find that uh, maybe you would rather that guy is just in that, you know, uh, catfish prefers to the dark place here. Yeah. 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 Fish bait, that's why we find that here is dark. Mm -hmm. So, we don't have to bring water and dry it and make it very dry. So, this is what I was going to tell you. Yeah. This is all from the result of uh, getting the females, inducing them, mm -hmm. getting the milk from the males, yeah. putting the eggs and the milk mix put on those trays. Okay. Then this water is flowing as you're seeing it. Yes. 
then 24 hours to hatches. So this is this are fried. Yeah, in 24 hours? Yes. This is catfish. Oh. At this stage they are called fried. Fried. Yes. Wow. So guys, I hope you are learning a lot in this stage they are called fried. So this these tanks, these are four points, they are all six, six tanks, they all have this, this thing, this is what I say. You can find that ideally, you will be a hatchery. After doing this, somebody comes and takes it all and does the nursing. But we don't have those people as here. We, we are here to find that market that takes as small as we are. We okay. do nursing. Mm -hmm. Because aquaculture is a broad business. Mm -hmm. Somebody can just produce as it is, then somebody goes and nurses. When you want the residents of the fish, I can tell you go to do yes. So, but here now, people are fearing that our land cannot handle it. So, we are forced to do all this. Okay. Hatch them, nurse them. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. 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 Wow. So that is what is done in this example. This is what you just. So, this what you see there is aeration. Okay. Uh, this, that is air okay. uh, being uh, applied into the dam. Wow. Exactly. That's so much. This is the same. This is the same. This is the 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 as you say that uh, in the big one in just over here. Mm -hmm. There's nobody who can give this burden that you want to So we are doing so that. They have our hatching, but not actually give your farm. Hey, I can't wait to see this. Fish farming, does, fish farming does not mean that you should keep it in table size. You can just keep it keep it rich this size. Visitor to a bigger size, to another person. That is still fish farming. Yes. So now these ones here yeah. are ready for sale. Exactly. And these ones are the ones you are saying they can sell at 200 and so Exactly. So how can we? But of course, there are those also as well that are sold less so, and maybe higher than that. Okay. It's not that all the fish is sold at that price. Okay. Because the, this is a gram which is here. Yes. Basically, the fish. Yeah, this is one gram. One gram. So our fish is sold uh, based on the gram. So if it is bigger, bigger the gram, the bigger the price. But uh, if say somebody wants to transport catfish, if you just get get cuts which are free of cooking oil, for us they cut it from cost from here for a company cost to other depending on the destination, then we call it here. Transporting it is a easy that. Only that the gel can should not have to be paid. They are just gel can sold in the market free of oil. Mm -hmm. They are the ones that we okay. And when you reach the phone, how 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 can some uh, when you reach the phone, put the gel can there, this is what they call acalamatizing. Yes. Put the gel can in the phone, open that gate that you can to put fish inside, mm -hmm. lower it, but the water from your phone also enters inside. Mm -hmm. Then catfish will always come out by itself automatically. You don't pour, don't pour. Hey, because if you pour, the next day you find everything is not there. All fish is there. Hey, you'd have stressed them and they need to get used to that water. Water here is different from water in that place. That is very key. Okay. So, how can they, if like the farmer comes, how can you have this now? He just remove this one. Hey, then. Okay. You put a net which is this one, you put it down there. Hey. Then you move the other one. What are we doing? Everything is understood for you. Mm -hmm. Whatever quantity which remains there, you just pour out and push it out. And uh, you might ask that, how do you count the number? Yes, that's what I wanted to say. You know the authority. You count it uh, using your own scale. Hey. The way it's clear for counting the number, especially bigger quantities. For say somebody wants to press out that, but I'm begin hand picking one, two, when we do finish it. You have to ensure that since we have graded the fish, mm -hmm. when you get the average body weight, at least they are uniform. Mm -hmm. That's why you will grade it, because if you don't grade and you get the average body weight of that fish next up, the bigger one will shoot the what? The weight, mm -hmm. and it will give you a wrong number. 
So since you have been with them, you have the uniform side, you get the you know they call average body weight. Average body weight. So that average body weight is calculated. Then you say average body weight, like say we have told you that is one gram. Mm -hmm. Now how many do you want to pass? For example, how many do you want to pass? Give me an example of number of five hundred. Five hundred. Just multiply five hundred times that one. Gram. Mm -hmm. Gives you five hundred what? Gram. So you yeah. put it the weighing scale. If the weight is five hundred grams, that is your fish. Okay. Yes, if it's one thousand, it becomes now one thousand percent. That's how we get the number. What is your message and the advice to the beginners, the farmers outside there who want to start a fish farm? Which breed is based for the beginning? Uh, it depends on the whole income from various places. There yeah, are areas that have much water besides the dry season. Yeah. And there are places that depend on seasonal rains. Uh, they depend on seasonal rains, yeah. meaning that uh, when the rains are not there, there is no water. So what you advise that farmer is, since your pool, your place is seasonal, try to time the rain. Yes. So when the rain starts, you just have to stop the fish. But basically, cut fish because cut fish will you know, so fast and it will be to the system. Mm -hmm. Even if the water level goes down, it will not trouble you that much. Just go to the lab here. If you have much water at your place, go for the lab here. But if you, are, you have issues with the water, the water cut fish can work for you. Um, maybe the other question is, uh, like, if someone buys this one gram, mm -hmm. how long will it take for you to sell that? Uh, it depends on the, your plan and how you have budgeted. Yes. Somebody can say, I want to keep it for six months. Yes. Somebody can say, I want to keep it for eight. Or at least maximum, you should not exceed ten months when you're keeping fish. Okay. It ceases from being business. Yes. Because Remember, the cost of feed will not reduce to big increasing, but the sales must have not increased. Okay. Yes, but uh, from 6, 8 to 10, you can sell your fish. Fish can be ready for sale. And by, by 10, from uh, like 10 months, it will be like how many kilograms? I know, by 10 months, we have uh, achieved the uh, one kilogram of catfish. Wow. Uh, we have achieved one kilogram of catfish. But that one is on condition that you are practicing they are what they call aquaculture-based practices. Yeah. Don't just take food using your hand, give to fish, that is the entire day. And you expect the result, no. You have to feed, basing on the quantity there, basing on the, uh, the size. Those are key. Size of the fish, what have you put there? Is what determines on the quantity you are going to give fish. Wow. Don't just scoop and take, no. You have to know what is in there. That is so interesting. Thank you so much, guys, uh, for watching. I hope you have learned a lot in this hatchery section. And I know many of you may need to visit Kikota Integrated Farm for you to get this. Please, you've seen it in plenty. These people can supply you. And I know they might need your number so that you'll be, uh, they'll be able to contact you and reach to the farm, most especially uh, so people who need it. Uh, my number once more is uh, 784 Wow. That is so great, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This video is sponsored by Halshon School here in Teso Subregion. See you guys in the next video. Subscribe the channel, hit the notification bell, share the video to all the farmers outside there, and you enjoy the business. Bye-bye for now.